Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Tribu Geek. Today in this video, I'll be showing you the other half of the city of Brussels tour. I hope you guys like this video and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel Tribu Geek, do subscribe. A favorite attraction for photo hops, the most important building on this square is the Royal Palace or Palace Royal, which is used by the Belgian royal family as an official residence. The Belgian flag flown from the roof signals the sovereign's presence and a ceremonial changing of the guard takes place every day at 2.30 pm. Now we are walking towards Brussels Park, which is the largest urban public park in the central Brussels. This was formerly known as the Royal Park and it is the city's first public park. The area of the park is rectangular in shape where the main entrance is one on the northern side opposite to the Belgian House of the Parliament, an avenue which leads to the main pond from which there are three other avenues offers views of the three important palaces in the Brussels. Now we are seeing the Belgian Federal Parliament. The Federal Parliament in the Belgium is the bicameral parliament. It consists of the Chamber of Representatives and the Senates. Walking in Brussels is so interesting that we will be able to see many beautiful buildings on the way. These beautiful buildings attracts us to take the pictures and we can see many tourists taking pictures near these buildings. Now we are seeing the Notre Dame du Sablon which is the 15th to 16th century church. And this is generally considered one of the loveliest late Gothic churches in Belgium, which was built as a replacement for a small chapel first erected on the sandy expense of the Sablon by the Crossbowmen's Guild in 1304. This beautiful garden is Yarden du Petit Sabalon. This is a serene oasis in the heart of the city which is a great place to take a break from the hectic Brussels sightseeing and breathe in the refreshing air. The charming landscaped garden with an impressive Egmont and Hornus fountain is studded with 48 bronze sculptures depicting the historical occupations. It's a perfect spot for a truly European experience while soaking in some history on the side. This is the giant wheel which is present on the upper part of the Brussels city, from which we can see the entire city view. The tourists can go on this giant wheel and experience the beautiful city view from this giant wheel. Now we are seeing one of the old gothic church which is present in the Brussels and next to it is a beautiful sculpture of an old man painting. Now we are seeing the one of the most beautiful and the weirdest and most famous landmarks of the Brussels which is the Mankin Piss, which is a small bronze statue of a little boy peeing in the fountain below. The locals dress up the boy up for the events in the city and even though the statue is silly, it has become the vital part of the framework of Brussels. He represents the joy, lightheartedness of the Brussels citizens and tourists flock from all over the city to snap a photo of a little boy. This is an easy place to visit of the Brussels for free. And now we are walking towards the city center of the Brussels. And this is the end of the Brussels tour from the part 1 and part 2. I hope you guys like this video and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel Tribo Geek, do subscribe.